Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are taking different approaches to prepare for their first debate. Here's what we know. Friendly reminder that the recording of the demented pumpkin threatening election officials is publicly available. This is one of the places you can listen to it. It is about an hour long. And for the full duration, Donald Trump has a complete meltdown. Keep in mind, this call happens after his own administration launched an investigation into his claims that there was widespread voter fraud against him, and his administration officials reported back to him that there actually was not widespread voter fraud against him, and he really did lose the election. What starts as him pitching the idea to the election officials that they just simply tell the public they found votes that they didn't know were there quickly turns to him taking a more hostile tone when the election officials reply, Mr. President, we're not going to pretend we found votes. He repeatedly gives them the exact number of votes that he's calculated he needs to win the state and demands that they pretend they found at least that many votes. He starts to tell them that they're going to regret it if they don't do it. He tells them very bad things are going to happen to them if they don't do it, that they're going to pay for committing a crime against him. He starts to accuse them of committing a crime by not pretending that they found votes that don't exist. At some points, he just becomes super frantic and will go from telling them that they're going to be heroes if they just say that they found the votes to then the very next sentence threatening to put them in prison if they don't pretend that they found the votes. You could be heroes, everyone will love you, or maybe you'll end up in prison, who knows? It becomes very obvious that he knows he lost the election, there was no widespread fraud against him, and he's just desperate to stay in office. By any means necessary. As we know, the Georgia election officials did not go along with his plan to lie to the country that they found votes that didn't exist. But because they held strong, this man's extremist followers sent them and their families unaliving threats. They had to hire extra security for protection, and this man is still attacking them, lying about them to this day, claiming that they engaged in fraud against him. After all the harm he's done to so many people in our country, it's really a shame how many people are considering voting for him.